will have a few tweaks, but it will still basically be like this. This design permits the entire top to vibrate, not just down here. It permits a totally different type bracing than any standard flat top. Two furniture bolts are stronger than four wood screws, and you can take it in and out a hundred times, and it fits into metal sleeves in the neck, so threaded, so it will not strip if you take the neck in and out. Uh, it has 22 frets. The frets are glued to neck the whole way, just like on a Fender guitar. This to the very end is uh, glued to the body or to the top. The neck is one unit and the fingerboard is glued to neck the entire way. The charts rod runs the full length of the neck, so it's totally adjustable. The notes are such that they do not fizzle out as you go in the upper treble registers. You can play electric arrangements, you can play acoustic arrangements, and I'm not going to play it for today on this presentation. But what I will say is that by no later than mid-June, we should have guitars available. It'll start with a run of no more than 30 guitars for the month for June, but we will quickly ramp up production significantly more. The facility is tooled up as a factory, not a small workshop, but a true factory type production system. We will be able to make as many as 5,000 guitars a year over time. But uh, we're not going to start out in the first year to do that many. But within three years, we should certainly have the ability to do that. And we will do more than that one model. That guitar is 15 inches wide, but the vibrating diaphragm sound board actually is a greater surface area of vibrating soundboard than you get even on a 17 inch wide standard design round hole flat top. We will also be introducing a baritone guitar, a bass, and a tenor voiced short scale tuned up to A, and the baritone tuned down to B. And the bass will be a standard bass tuning 34 inch scale, but that body design will remain the same, although in the baritone and the bass will have a significantly larger body, and the tenor voiced one will have a significantly smaller body. Uh, we have the potential also to do electric solid body guitars and semi hollow guitars, and I do have prototype designs for them. Um, the uh, John McMillan just asked was my question about possible Tacoma revival skipped and the answer is that I designed the Tacoma guitars with the offset sound hole and I received a royalty on those from Tacoma and later from Fender but the new model that I just showed does differ it preserves many, but not all, of the features of the Tacoma. It is an evolutionary step beyond. The peghead shape is different. The bridge design is different. The sound hole shape is somewhat different. It's recognizably different. The bracing pattern is not identical, but it is similar. Um, the body shape is the same. Um, and it is still very much my design and an evolutionary step beyond what was done at the time that they were made under the Tacoma brand in the Tacoma factory. But uh, in other words, Tacoma is not reintroduced. That was a different brand 
but still my design work. Um, you have another question. Uh, when considering, and then Kowalski asks, when considering a vintage Gretsch guitar, if it doesn't yet have binding rod, is it safe?